FM 96 Tube. Okay, lesson number two. What's on the agenda? Tonight, Sarah, we are going to talk about the things that you have to know about before you even think about swinging a club. And that is your grip, your posture, and your ball position. Take the club and put it right in front like this. You see, I've got your hand angled down just a little bit like this. And I'm going to rest the club on the first pad of your pinky finger here and the middle pad of your index finger like that. Okay. Then we're going to stretch your hand out a little bit and bring your wrist up on top of the club like that. And then it's your thumbprint that makes contact with the club with the grip down here. Okay. okay, so just like that. There's a couple of different ways that you can put your right hand on. This is called an interlocking grip. Okay, and what I did there was I just took my the pointing or the index finger of my left hand, pointed it straight out like this, opened up the space between my pinky and my third finger like this, and interlocked. You could also go with a grip like this. We call this a 10 finger or baseball grip. And the reason you would choose this one or this one is strictly comfort. You bring your other hand on if you're going to do just in the club. Just basically rest on your middle two fingers right where they attach to your hand. So that's hand position. All right. Last with grip deals with what should our grip pressure be. Because most people make the mistake of gripping way too tight. You grip just tight enough that you've got control of the club. I like to think of the grip being like a tube of toothpaste that I've taken the cap off of. And I want to hold that tube of toothpaste tight enough that I've got control of it, but I do not want to squeeze any toothpaste out. So part two, posture. Mm -hmm. So you know how your mom always used to tell you that you have to stand up straight, yeah. shoulders back, all that type of thing? Mm -hmm. You don't do that in golf. So, so but before we get into the posture and that, we're going we're gonna to talk about the anatomy of the golf club. So this part here is referred to as the grip. This part here that goes all the way down here is called the shaft of the, of the golf club. Where the shaft connects to, this is the head of the golf club, okay, which is where we hit the ball with. The, what connects the shaft to the head is what we call the hosel. And now, this is the head of the golf club. The entire thing here is called the head. The front part, which makes contact with the golf ball, is called the face. The bottom of the golf club, this is referred to as the sole of the golf club. The outside part here, this is referred to as the toe. And this part here is referred to as the heel. And that part right in the very center there mm -hmm. is called the sweet spot. And that's where you want to hit the ball. Feet together. Shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. Okay, with your left foot angled toward the target grip. Okay, now soften your knees just a little bit. Okay, that looks great. So what you, you've got your shoulder width apart, knees bent, rear ends, you've got a great spine angle, but not too far. <laughs> you don't want to go too, too far. Okay. That's it, just like that. Okay, okay? and you should feel absolutely balanced on you. You don't want to feel like there should be no weight on your toes. So that's that's your setup. Now, okay. your ball position is twofold. One is, when I'm hitting an iron, I want the golf club to be dead center between my feet, and the ball obviously is just ahead of center. Yep. And I never want to be so far away from the ball that I feel like I'm reaching out like this and losing my balance. But I have to be far enough away that I can get my arms away from my body. Right. Can we go through the checklist? Hands, feet, knees. knees. Butt and arms. Okay. Now, when you swing back, always have to look at the tee. You can never look away from the tee because okay. that's how you get back down to it. So you're just going to come back nice and slow like this and then down and through. Get the tee and go all the way through like this. To about right there. Keep your eye on the ball and just take a nice easy swing. There you go. First swing. Swing easy. Okay. Was the first miss of the night. That's better. Hey! Beautiful. Look at that. Past the 50. Okay, Dave, come on. When that happens, let me teach you a little rock and roll something here. High five. Yeah.